there's this wild wild fact uh factoid that each person has a credit card's worth of plastic in their brain or or a spoon you know plastic spoon worth in terms of mass how do we get to the point where there's plastic in our food and how does it potentially affect our mental health and physical health yeah so i think microplastics as you said are this very not a new thing but a very emerging interest of the public and i think it's really a byproduct of plastics just being in everything. Mm -hmm. So from pollution being in the air, from the foods that you eat and how they're packaged. And again, alluding back to the ultra processed foods that how they're processed, how they're packaged, all these different things. There's so many different routes that as humans, we are literally ingesting plastics that they can accumulate in your body. So over the last few years, there's been a number of papers showing how it accumulates in different organ systems from mm -hmm your liver, your kidneys, even your heart and how it's in plaques and predicting your risk of stroke. Uh, that was a trial in, in the New England Journal of Medicine. So plastics actually in the plaques themselves? In the plaques. Wow. Yes. And, and those being a predictor of adverse events beyond that as well, too. Right. So I think it speaks to how present it is within our bodies. And as you mentioned, a number of studies coming out quantifying the amount of plastics within our brains. And one of them came out in Nature Medicine uh, a few months ago uh, in this year, maybe more than a few months ago now, but it showed that there may be even a spoon's worth of plastics in the brain. So for me, this was very interesting because I thought from uh, a mental health perspective, there's not really a lot of studies saying what's happening as a result of this. And the difficulty comes in, in studying that. This study that looked at plastics in people's brain was post-mortem. Um, so it's very difficult to quantify mental health variables retroactively sure. postpartum and, and, yeah, and yeah. all these things. So I began to wonder, how can we quantify microplastics that someone's intaking? We don't have, uh, like we have a dietary inflammatory index. You can guesstimate what someone's inflammation is based on their diet and stuff of that sort. We don't have a dietary microplastic index or anything similar to that. So I knew based on the existing associations with ultra processed foods that it's associated with increased depression, anxiety, all these different things. We also know that ultra processed foods are one of the highest things to have microplastic content. And the other thing is that in America, at least the stat is, I think it's, it's over 50, almost 75% of the energy intake in America comes from ultra processed foods. Wild. So to me, that looked like a pretty good proxy to estimate mm -hmm. uh, microplastic contents.